Hello, it's Terry here. If you've uh, bought one of my roofing hoist platforms, you're probably watching this video to see how to assemble it. Um, this is what you get. The platform and the top bar and the bottom bar for mounting it on your ladder. I ship it, when I ship it out, it's in a thick plastic bag like this. So if you have to contact the post office, you can tell them what it looks like. It saves about 10 or $15 over putting them in boxes. And everything you need is fastened to the ladder so that it won't get lost during shipping. So first thing you do is to take the bars off. And this is your top bar and this is your bottom bar. To mount this on your ladder, you're going to need a 5 16 drill bit with a drill, and you're going to need a half inch socket. A deep socket is better. And you'll need a wrench to torque these down when you put them on the top of the ladder. So we'll go over here and look at the ladder. And this is a ladder that comes from the store just like it comes from the store with the top section taken off. So one of the first things you need to do is to mount your top bar. But you have these little plastic things here and you have about six rivets you're going to have to cut out and they're pretty easy to cut out with a side grinder. And it'll cut right through that plastic to get that one. It's easier to do them on the inside because the outside is larger. Sometimes you can drill these out with a drill bit, but they will likely to start spinning after you get them loose. Also, you have a little pulley here that pulls the top section of the ladder up. You want to take it off so it doesn't interfere with your material and catch on anything. So it's a rivet here you need to pull out, uh, drill out, cut out, and a rivet here. And save this piece. I'll show you how you can use it to make an automatic shutoff for if you're going to leave your ladder in a stationary position. So after you get these plastic things off, the next thing you have to do is remove this top bar. You have to cut it out so there's room for the pulley and the cable to work at the top. The easiest way to do that is with a portable bandsaw. So you can cut it right there with a portable bandsaw, move over here, and cut it out here. This only takes a few seconds, really. Aluminum is pretty easy to cut. So once you cut it out, you can hold up your bar and know right where the hole needs to be drilled. I just hold them there and drill the hole out. And then I put the bolts that I included with the lock nuts to hold the top bar on. This uh channel steel is pretty strong, half inch bolt, so it'll pick up 500 pounds, and the motor definitely will do that. <coughs> First thing I need to cover on the hoist motor is this lead weight. This lead weight will hit the rung up and down every time. It's made so that when the ladder is hanging overhead, it will pull this piece down, which pushes in a little shutoff switch right here when it pushes down to keep from you rolling more up on the cable and breaking everything. So once you cut this off, the easiest way to cut this off is with a portable bandsaw. Just put it in a vise, pinching the edge, and then pull this around like that where you can cut past your cable without hitting the cable and cut that off. If you don't, it's going to hit every rung up and down. Then you would let your cable out going up the ladder around the pulley and you can put it on the pulley by removing this pin and this bolt and putting the cable in through here and then putting it all back together like it was. This comes in the top of your box with your your hoist motor and then it goes back down on the other side of the ladder and through here and the cable will hook to this U-bolt right here on your platform. 
So the way you attach your motor is the top of the box is where you, you hoist, you have these brackets. And they go into these holes on the bottom of your hoist through that bottom bar. So you have to put this on first because this rung gets in the way of that bottom hole in there. Once you get them on, then you would use the U-bolts. But we have a problem because the motor takes up the full space between the sides of the ladder. There's no room here for this U-bolt to come through. So you need to drill a hole simply putting the U-bolt around the rung you can see where you would drill the hole. And you drill the hole a little bit to the inside to avoid hitting this plate on the edge here. That's the 5 16 hole. And you'd use a half inch wrench to hold this bar to the rung after you've attached it to the motor with these bolts and these brackets. And you nuts that go on there are here. They take a 5 8 wrench to torque them down. Okay, that will secure the motor to the bottom of the ladder. Now, that piece at the top I told you that you could cut off and save, you can make a shut off with it if you just drill right through here. Now, I've never done this, but I've seen it done, and on a video that I can't find anymore but this is good if you're in a stationary position like you build a platform for a dumb waiter or something inside your house if you drill a hole through it right here through the side and put a bolt down here you can wrap the cable up around the bar and attach it to this part so as the ladder moves up it will pull that bar down when you get to the point that you have tied it off. See as the ladder goes up it pulls us down. And that's good if you're if you have this mounted in a house and you're using it to move groceries to a second floor or, or firewood or something and you may have kids around somebody could just push this and it would try to keep going and going. If you're out working on a job operating yourself you can see when it's at the top you don't really need that. We'll probably get hung up on a lot of things. But in a stationary position, it's, it's a good option you can add. Okay, I want to show you something on the platform where some people who mount these <coughs> in a vertical position, you have a, a slant cut, cut into the platform here so that when your ladder is leaning back this part is level with the ground but if you stand your, uh, your ladder up vertically that platform is sloped and your material will come off there's an easy way to fix that or you can order order one special and I will build it this way all you really need to do is take these bolts out here these three and this one and on both sides and take this piece off and then just flip it over so that this part is straight down on your ladder. And that will make it come out at a 90 degree angle. You'll have to redrill your bolts with a half inch drill bit. And you'll probably have to move this up a little bit because your ladder is going to be straight and this needs to be a little longer so you just move this bar up a little bit. But that would give you a a flat pat platform when your ladder is totally vertical. Let's see, what else did I want to include? I guess that's it. Thank you.